हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू लेट्स ट्यूट टू गेट मोर सच वीडियोस डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड आल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट फ्रॉम अस वी आल्सो हैव कोर्सेज फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स डू चेक देम आउट ऑन अ वेबसाइट व्हिच इज www.letstute.com सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद टुडेस सेशन लास्ट टाइम वेयर आई स्टॉप्ड वाज वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज रिप्रोडक्शन व्हाट इज वेरिएशन and what is the importance of variation so let's move ahead so today we are going to learn how do many organisms reproduce so reproduction is broadly divided into two categories the first one being sexual method of reproduction and the second method being asexual method of reproduction today however we are going to first discuss about asexual mode of reproduction so let's learn what are the different methods of asexual method of reproduction you will be surprised to know that there are many methods of asexual reproduction which are used by many unicellular as well as multicellular organisms so let's quickly start with the first method so the first method which i am going to explain to you is known as fission yes fission so what comes in your mind when you hear the word fission so fission simply means the division of a cell so fission is a process in which the parent body divides itself into two equal daughter cells yes the parent body divides meaning the nucleus and the cytoplasma present in the parent body divides itself to form two new daughter cells now the two new daughter cells which are formed are identical to each other as well as very much identical to their parents fission is a very simple method which occurs in unicellular organisms so fission is broadly again categorized into two major categories the first one being binary fission and the second one being multiple fission so first let's talk about binary fission so binary fission as the word suggests binary meaning two so the cell that is the parent cell divides itself into two daughter cells now binary fission is again divided into four methods depending on the parent body and its structure and organization binary fission is of four methods the first one being a uh, simple binary fission now simple binary fission in this the fission of the parent body occurs on any axis on any plane the example of simple binary fission is amoeba have you heard of amoeba yes amoeba is a unicellular organism with very irregular shaped body and hence simple binary fission can occur in amoeba because the fission can occur on any plane the second method being longitudinal binary fission now in this the organisms with a better structure and better organization they have a better organization of the body so the fission takes along longitudinal axis and not irregular so the example of longitudinal binary fission is euglena third method of binary fission is transverse binary fission here the organism divides or the fission takes place along the transverse axis examples of transverse binary fission being paramecium the last but not the least is known as oblique binary fission in this particular process the fission takes place along the oblique axis and the example of oblique binary fission is dinoflagellates let's talk about multiple fission what is multiple fission this is another category of fission remember i told you it is divided into binary fission and multiple fission since i have already told you four methods of binary fission now let's talk about multiple fission it's not as complicated as binary fission in fact it's quite easy so what is bi- multiple fission so multiple fission is a process in which the parent body simultaneously divides into many daughter cells not just two but multiple daughter cells depending on their body the example of multiple fission being plasmodium vivax 
which is the malarial parasite the parasite which causes malaria so let's talk something more about fission so fission is the most commonly type of asexual reproduction so out of many methods of asexual reproduction that we are going to discuss ahead fission being the most common type in fission the entire parent body acts as one single unit and the advantages of fission being that the since the daughter cells are derived from the parent body there is nothing left with the parent body so there is no natural death and hence the daughter cells are known as immortal i have already told you that the daughter cells are exactly identical to their parents because of the cell division so the daughter cells which are result of fission are known as clones other advantage of fission is also that it is a very quick method of reproduction why do you think that it is very quick method of reproduction because only one parent is involved in reproduction remember the one single parent is involved in reproduction and hence it is very quick to reproduce producing very large number of offspring which are known as clones yes so that's all about fission was it interesting so let me tell you something more about the other methods of reproduction so let's move on to the second method of asexual reproduction after learning about fission let's move on to something simpler so the second method of asexual reproduction is known as fragmentation so what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word fragmentation the word itself is self explanatory isn't it fragmentation yes the parent body divides itself into several fragments or you can say that the parent body divides itself into several sections or pieces so in many organisms or sexually reproduction or uh, reproducing organisms which are unicellular or multicellular organisms with rather simple body organizations use fragmentation as the mode of reproduction so fragmentation is a process in which the parent body divides itself into several fragments or is broken up into various pieces these fragments may occur because of natural death or because of some unnatural circumstances occurring around in the environment and each of these fragment when they grow up when they mature become individual organisms initially these fragments are irregular in shape and size but whenever they grow and mature each of them produce organisms which are very identical to the parent body and hence the capacity to form entire a uh, new organism from just one fragment tissue is known as fragmentation isn't it amazing can you imagine a worm being broken up into three different fragments and each of the piece then forms into a new individual how astonishing the examples of fragmentation being uh, many simple organisms like sponges hydra planaria as well as several flat worms and annelids friends that's all for fragmentation let's move on to the third method of asexual reproduction now the third method of asexual reproduction is known as regeneration now regeneration is a process which occurs in many multicellular organisms having organized body structures so in regeneration when the parent body is cut or broken up into many pieces or when the parent body loses its organ or a part of its body this process occurs in many multicellular organisms so regeneration is a process where a parent body when it loses its part or a structure has the ability to grow back that part which was lost so have you ever heard that a lizard when it loses its tail has the ability to grow back it how is it even possible it is possible because of this process which is known as regeneration so how does regeneration occur regeneration occurs because of some group of cells which are known as specialized cells now these specialized cells 
which are present in planaria planaria being a very simple organism region it uses regeneration to reproduce asexually when it is cut into many pieces isn't that amazing so my friends have you ever thought what is the difference between fragmentation and regeneration they are quite similar isn't it but no let me tell you the basic difference between these two uh, methods so first we will learn in fragmentation in which the organism when divided into different segments each of these organisms grow to form a complete new organism whereas in regeneration the organism which loses its part has the ability to grow it back so this is the basic difference between two methods however let me tell you friends that regeneration is not reproduction it is quite different in what methods it is different so first repro uh, reproduction can occur in two methods right sexually and asexually whereas regeneration can only occur asexually in regeneration the parent body is possible that it might loses its integrity whereas in reproduction it's not necessary the parent loses its integrity it can happen it might lose or it might not lose for example in budding which is seen in yeast the parent still has its own integrity whereas in regeneration it's not possible since it has already broken up into many pieces and individually grown into new individual so that's all for today about regeneration i hope this summary was enough to make you a little clearer about uh, the different methods of asexual reproduction that we have up till now learned so that's all my friends i will have to say a goodbye to get more such videos do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us till then keep watching keep learning